it's throwback to GP2016 time, where we analyse the questions for points and examples you can raise if these issues come out again. Everyone has an opinion, but not everyone's opinion is of equal value. What is your view? Nobody can dispute that everyone has an opinion, or has the right to one. We just need to recognise them for what they really are. Opinions are perspectives, judgments. They are not factual statements. Almost everything that we think, write and say on a day-to-day -day basis are mostly opinions. They can be grounded on facts, but they are usually coloured by our stories and our feelings about the facts. Which means every opinion is really subjective in nature, and it ought to be evaluated rather than just taken as is. None of us are as consistently factual as we like to believe. And that's because human beings are not just rational, logical creatures, we are also emotional as well. The main subject to analyse here is everyone's opinion. Do everyone's opinions have some function in society? Some people do try harder to ground their opinions in facts and reflect an impersonal and objective reality. Other people's opinions are less grounded in facts. Their opinions reflect a more personal and subjective reality. Everyone's opinions as a whole though, even the crazy ones and especially the ones we disagree with, are a reflection of a reality we must learn to work with. There is value in paying attention even to differing, ungrounded opinions. It helps us figure out our own blind spots and see how to address differences with people who are not like us. It does not mean endorsing or agreeing with the opinions. For instance, after the 1994 genocide, Rwanda embarked on a difficult process of reconciliation where small groups of survivors and perpetrators in the genocide were brought together to just hear out each other's opinions and prejudices. Through this remarkable healing process, perpetrators have been able to return to their communities and live side by side with communities that they had once attacked. Acknowledging the value of each other's perspective does help preserve a healthy level of unity in society. But valuing everyone's opinion does not mean arguing that everyone's opinion is of equal value. Many of us are following the opinions of online influencers over traditional celebrities amateur bloggers over professional journalists, and our peers over experts. Major decisions are being made by people everywhere that go against the conventional wisdom of authority figures. So how do we know whose opinions have more value? The philosopher Socrates used three filters to figure this out. The first filter is, is this opinion true? Is the opinion grounded on facts? Is it backed by experts with domain knowledge? For instance, many bloggers, celebrities and politicians have become popular advocates against vaccinations. These anti-vaxxers passionately believe that vaccines cause autism. Their opinions are based on a mix of gut instinct, peer opinion and online research. In particular, a 1988 scientific paper written by the surgeon Andrew Wakefield that first drew the link between autism and the MMR vaccine. But what many do not know is that Wakefield had already confessed it was all faked research. His paper had already been debunked by the medical community and he has been struck off the UK Medical Register for dishonesty. Moreover, medical research does show that vaccines are necessary to maintain herd immunity. In fact, all diseases like measles that have been kept at bay for years by vaccines are now breaking out again in parts of America because of the increase of unvaccinated children. A second filter is, is this opinion good? Does this opinion move us to show compassion to ourselves and to others? Does it come from a source that has conflicts of interest that could do us harm? For instance, since the 1950s, CEOs of tobacco corporations have gone on record insisting that cigarettes are not addictive. They reference scientific and think tank research that also instilled doubt about the links between smoking and lung cancer. Later, however, journalists discovered that the politicians, researchers and think tanks were funded by the tobacco corporations themselves. Similarly, many politicians today who deny the reality of climate change also have suspicious links with the fossil fuel industry. The third filter is, is this opinion useful or necessary? Some opinions are constructive. They are informative and offer us new insights that help us to figure out the issue. But some opinions are destructive because by being vague and full of misinformation, they reinforce old prejudices and confuse the issue. For example, in 2013, the Reddit community, some BuzzFeed journalists and high-profile bloggers like Perez Hilton spread rumours that a missing student called Sunil Tripathi was one of the suspects in the Boston Marathon bombing. Within hours, based on nothing more than assumptions, 
Angry commenters traumatized the Tripathi family with hundreds of anti-Islamic threats, even though the family was not Muslim. Why is it such a big deal that we learn to evaluate opinions? Because unlike facts, opinions are not inert. Facts just describe an object's past or present. They don't shift the nature of the object. But opinions actually declare a new future for an object, shifting it towards a new path for better or for worse. You didn't pass the exam is a factual statement. You don't deserve to be in this school or you are too stupid to make it in life are opinions about that fact. But what life-destroying opinions they could potentially be? Our words can create worlds. They can also crush them. So let's do our part to respect the power of our words by paying more attention to which opinions we choose to speak, spread, and share. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how the world works, subscribe to our channel or follow the link below to get a free trial class at School of Thought. For a full breakdown of all the GP essays of 2016, click on the other link below to get our annual Broader Perspectives essay issue.